What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're all having a lovely day. Thank you so much for being here. Hope that your weekend is going well. I don't even know what, what day this video is going to come out, but I wanted to make this video. This is going to be kind of completely random, but I felt like this topic was worth me ma making a video on. And like I said, it's, it is a left field thought. You know, I don't usually make kind of random, I don't even know what you would call this, like just discussion videos, but I felt that this was a topic worth talking about, you know? So every once in a while, when I'm reading the comments and just going through and seeing what you guys are talking about uh, in the reactions, every once in a while I'll see a comment, something like, you know, this particular song meant so much to me. Um, it helped me through a certain time in my life. And that time I'm referring to is the passing of someone you know, whether that's friends or family or anything like that, you know? And can I tell you, I always thank you guys for your comments because I don't think you realize just how any comment, um, I, I, I really read that and I really absorb that, you know? And every once in a while I see a comment that says, man, this song, you know, when, when I was going through this and it meant this to me and it helped me through this hard time. And I get, I get really like emotional reading those comments and it's a beautiful, like an extremely beautiful thing to see that. How music can can bring people together, how music can help us cope with things, and it's just extremely beautiful, you know? And we kind of talked about this last year, it's actually almost been almost exactly a year ago now, but when my grandma had passed, and my grandma was the one person in my family, of course I'm close to everybody, but like, the one person that was like, the person I always looked forward to seeing and hearing from, and she was like my person, you know what I mean? there's always that one person in your life. And my grandma was that person. And when she passed last year, there were two songs and, and, and out well, one song, one album, I guess <laughs> you could say that really affected me. And so when I read your comments, it made me think about it like, man, you know, what songs kind of helped me and, and what albums and what music did I grasp onto? So first of all, before I even continue, Thank you guys for, for bearing yourselves, for sharing your souls, your memories, your hearts with me. I think that that takes a, an extreme amount of courage and bravery to share your stories, to open yourselves up, you know? And I would like to open myself up a little bit, bit back to you. So um, just to at least give you an idea. So when my grandma started going downhill, uh, she was in the hospital. And she was kind of in and out of... I don't want to say consciousness, but a little bit, but not being herself and being herself kind of, you know? So we knew that the time was coming and I never forget that I went there to visit her one day. My wife told me, Hey, you should go today. You know, she's my, my mom's been like watching her and you know, she was going downhill, but not quite there yet. So I said, you know what? Yeah, let me go, you know, spend some time with her for the day. So I went there and I stayed pretty much the whole day in the hospital and she really was kind of in and out. But what was interesting is that at the time, uh, she was conscious and aware enough to know who I was. And, uh, it was a really difficult time to say at the least. She was kind of like ranting certain things and talking about old memories. And it was really sad, you know, to see my grandma in that condition. And the best thing about it if you want to look at the silver lining, was the night and that day that I spent with her and I talked to her, she knew who I was and she remembered me and, you know, she was talking to me, you know, like, like accurately and consciously and everything. That was the last night that she was, for lack of better word, aware and awake. You know, I got to spend those last few hours with her like, and with her, you know, and I will cherish that for the rest of my life. That is an extremely special thing that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And through that time, through her passing, through the funeral and ever after, I never once cried, you know, except one time on the drive back from the hospital that night, because I had a feeling that might be the last time I would ever talk to her and, and see her, you know, and this is going to be silly, but the first thing that I put on, and I just put on something so random. I just wanted something uh, to put on. It was a night drive. I don't even know what time it was. Maybe 9, 10 o'clock. It was dark. 
And I put on the Cocktail Twins. I put on Heaven or Las Vegas. And can I tell you, that album now is very hard for me to listen to. Because on that car ride back home was the only time that I did cry. I started to tear up as I was driving. And so we have some Cocktail Twins coming up later on. And I was listening to Heaven in Las Vegas again. I was like, let me just listen to it again because I did enjoy it. And listen, I, I stopped playing it after like one minute. I couldn't play it. <laughs> I, I couldn't play it. But at the same time, how beautiful it is to have that music accompany me, you know? It's a hard listen, but it's also a nice listen. You know, just the calming, dark melodies, the way the music swirls around. It's very warm and enveloping for me. You know, and it kind of comforts me. You know, it's hard to listen to, but it comforts me. And then the second song, uh, I actually did do a reaction to, and I do not listen to this song. <laughs> it breaks me. Um, I'm sure I could listen to it, but that would be uh, Forever Autumn. Justin Hayward and, and a few others. That one. And on that video, on that reaction video, I explained it all. I explained why that's a hard song for me. Um, just some of the lyrics in there brought back memories that I had with my grandma and walking with her and it, just the imagery and how beautifully it's sung. What a gorgeous song. And so those are two, two songs, one an album, like I said, Heaven or Las, Las Vegas and then Forever Autumn by Justin Hayward that now have a very, very special meaning to me. You know, just in those melodies or memories. And, and I guess the melodies too. So, like I said, I don't really have an end goal for this video, but I did think that it was worth discussing and of course you don't have to share, <laughs> of course. But some of you do share a lot of yourselves in the comments and I am grateful to have people like you, you know, in the community. So if you do wanna share how music has helped you specifically with death, with, with the coping with the passing of someone uh, close to you, near to you. Because I think that that's one thing we can all agree on. We all like different genres of music and, you know, I don't, we want to unify. I want to bring together. I don't want to argue about what genre is this and that. Everyone has music that they can talk about and it has a special connection to them. And I think that's one of the most beautiful things about music. You know, some artist, some band, makes something and puts it out to thousands and millions of people. But there's going to be those few people, maybe many, that connect with it on such a deeper level at such the right time, sometimes at the worst time. And it gives you that certain strength that you need right at that time. So, um, one, I just wanted to share that with you. I wanted to open myself back up to you guys. Um, for those of you who have shared your stories, man, Strengthening. Strengthening. It may strengthen you. Like when you put the comment down, <laughs> it may strengthen you in the moment to write it down. But let me tell you that it doesn't go ignored. You know, not only just for myself, because I, I see them, but I know for a fact that other people see them too. So thank you once again for sharing that, uh, for sharing yourselves with me. And of course, this extends to so many other things, but um, for constantly opening yourself up. You know, it's very cathartic to do that. And like I said, if you want to discuss this in the comments below, go ahead. This, this is such a random video. Like I said, there's no, there's no necessarily ending or, or goal of this video or necessarily a point. But I guess the point is music can move us um, and connect us and make us feel things and get us through certain feelings at certain times in our lives, you know? So, hey, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being the good and beautiful people that you are. I appreciate really every single one of you that are here, even if you're just listening to this video and you, and you don't comment. Thank you. Sincerely, from the, from the bottom and the top of my heart. <laughs> Not just from the bottom, from every side, every angle. Thank you so much. So have a, run, a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you there. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.